Okay, it's Wednesday, October 20th. Um, I believe tomorrow, our friend Ms. McCain has an audiobook on Audible that's being released. Um, it's called Bad Republican. Um, and in it, she, uh, you know, teases that she will talk about her time on The View. Uh, and she did an interview yesterday with Sean Hannity talking about it. She's been doing, making some press rounds um, in advance of its release. Um, and it's clear she's, uh, she's rewriting recent history pretty severely. Um, so let's just talk a little bit about what she's been, what she's been leaking about it so far um, and been willing to talk about. The first point though, is that she's releasing an audio book um, that's sort of a tell-all book after spending years on television complaining about tell-all books um, that they're just from bitter disgruntled people. Bingo. Um, so she talks about being a conservative woman in mainstream media is deeply threatening. Being a woman who can hold her own on a show like that proved to be ultimately threatening. Now, and she talks in comparison to her time on Fox. Fox News is mainstream media. It's the most watched news channel in the country. Um, so when people use mainstream media to talk about um, and, and as if it is somehow a liberal media, it's bullshit. Um, she does go on to say that everything other than Fox News is m liberal media, which is bullshit. So um, we, I'm assuming we're going to ex expect a lot more lies like that from her book. Um, she talked about, um, you know, being attacked for her views. And it, it, Megan, you weren't attacked because of your views. You were attacked because of your personality, because of your approach. Um, you weren't willing to listen. You weren't willing to have a conversation. You were, this is my opinion and shut up afterwards. That was it. How many times did you say things like, and that's all I have to say about that. Well, that's not what the whole point of a conversation is. Um, so, um, you know, she talks about her second day back um, and we, we covered that on, uh, on our second program of this little series uh, where Joy said, um, no, Megan, I didn't miss you. And which was, I think, blatantly honest um, because everyone missed your toxicity. You're going around, sh sh you know, schlepping this audio book that you didn't even write, you just read it. I don't know why there's no print version, but um, you talk about the toxicity in the, of the culture at The View um, and how you were ostracized and treated differently. And um, again, I don't think that the way that you were treated had to do with your political views. It had to do with the way that you treated other people. You said at one moment, um, people should be able to go to work and have a bad day without it. Um, you know, uh, fundamentally, uh, you know, impacting their mental health and, you know, and then of course you complain that, you know, the liberal people at that show leaked it to the press that you were mean to them. Well, you also should be able to have a bad day without being mean to people. You don't have to take out your bad day on the people around you when they aren't the ones that have caused your bad day. Because now what you're doing is involving them in your bad day and perpetuating it. Um, so, you know, the whole idea that the, that you were treated differently because of your views is also a bunch of bullshit. Um, lots of people have gone on that show with lots of different views. Um, and, uh, lots of people have not been treated great on that show because it's a, it's a show of personality and it depends on the mix. Um, and yours didn't fit. You talked about having a greater sense of sisterhood from your fellow Fox news, um, uh, female counterparts. And I, I don't know that that's a, a system of people helping each other so much as a system of people agreeing with each other. And I think that you don't um, appreciate the fact that when someone doesn't agree with you, it doesn't mean they don't like you. You come at that from the get-go 
And so you assume you're being attacked for your views, but you're being attacked because you're attacking. This is a classic um, case where you were the instigator being a bitch um, and loud mouthing your opinion over everybody else. And then you're mad and are claiming the victim when people say, hey, no, that's not actually right. Um, so this is gonna be a painful book to have to listen to, um, but we'll do it. And uh, we'll give a response chapter by chapter about Megan McCain's bad Republican. Coming up. <laughs>